So I'm doing this small event in Des Moines. And so this lady comes up in her wheelchair afterwards and says, I want you to have this, and hands me a paper bag that weighs a lot. And I look in, and it's all full of quarters. It's $50 worth of quarters. I said, I can't take this. She said, I've been waiting five years saving little pieces of money out of my disability check for something that really important that comes along, and you're it. Now that makes you realize how much responsibility you have as a candidate for president, what people are putting into you. The worst thing when I didn't win was the feeling that I'd let people like that down. But the moments like that are what makes it all worth it, and that's what you remember 10 years later. Washington is essentially a middle school on steroids. It really is. And they have their own culture, their own values. They're pretty much out of touch with what's going on in the rest of the country. I think the most frustrating part of the political process for me is the unwillingness of people to work with each other, the demonization of the other, which was really pioneered by Newt Gingrich. He just thought, if I have to tear the house down in order to get us in power, we'll do it. And I personally think the Republicans have been putting their party in front of their country ever since. You know, young people don't go into politics for that reason. Why would you? You can go on the net and change the world. Why would you bother to go through a political process which is broken and which nobody listens to each other and everybody just shouts at each other all the time? Now, our generation did a lot. Civil rights, stopping the Vietnam War. But we were pretty ideological. I mean, if you didn't agree with us, you were politically incorrect and not worthy of further discussion. I think that's the disease that you now see as we've now control the levers of power. But I'm hoping to get a lot of young people interested, and I think the Trump victory may do that. The Trump victory essentially was a repudiation of all the values that people under 35 in this country have. This generation values respect for others. They value not tolerance, but inclusion. They love diversity, and they truly deeply believe in social justice. These kids consider themselves citizens of the world, not just citizens of America. What was it like to run for president? It was uh, very, very hard. It was, in terms of work, the hardest thing I ever did. You get four hours of sleep a night for seven or eight months in a row. I subsisted on peanut M&Ms because, you know, you get in the plane after some event and you just, we had this big bowl like that of <laughs> peanut M&Ms and you'd stuff your face because if you're not sleeping, you want as much sugar and chocolate as you possibly can have, right? Any regrets? Oh, there's a million of them. I wasn't well organized. I needed to become less of a bomb thrower and more of a conventional candidate. People, except for this year, they mostly don't elect insurrectionists as president. But the regrets are that I didn't win. Uh, <laughs> and that was my own fault. Ever meet Trump? Nope. What would you say to him if he had the opportunity? <laughs> I would try to avoid the opportunity. Oh, how did we get here? The people who elected Donald Trump are the people who were left behind by globalization. The internet has changed everything. If you're young, you're a digital native. You speak internet ease, as it were. If you're 50, without much of an education or a previous experience with the internet, you can't hold down a job. So we've had a huge remaking of the economy. Young people can keep up with it. Older people can't, especially if they're not well educated. What do you think about this idea, the American dream? Is it, is it lost? Is it attainable? Uh, it is attainable, but both the Democrats and the Republicans have to do things much differently. And I think that won't happen until we get a new generation into politics where they can work together again. There's something fundamentally wrong in this country where you can work hard and not get ahead. And that's where we are now. That has to be changed. The Democrats can change that, but they also have to do some tough things. We've got to revamp the way we do education in this country. We've got to deal with the big financial problems that both parties have continued to ignore. 
The pension systems are broken in this country. These are serious problems that can be fixed, but they can't be fixed by people who yell at each other all the time and are much more interested in maintaining their own power, which is why I'm so anxious to get the new generation in, which is more respectful, more pragmatic, and actually don't really care very much about party lines. I'm very optimistic about the future, but it's not going to be easy. We're going to have to work to fix the divisions. They're not just going to get fixed by themselves. What does the phrase beyond the horizon mean to you? There should never be a beyond the horizon. Given that we know, the further out you go, the more likely you are to be wrong, we still have to make educated, thoughtful guesses about what the consequences of our action are. They can't be about what's going to happen in the next six days or the next six months or even the next six years. That is a major fault not just in public policy, but in America. For example, a little known fact, the United States and the United Kingdom in 1953 decided to get rid of the only democratically elected prime minister in the history of Iran. We did it because we were afraid that there were undue influence from the Russians, which wasn't true. The Brits did it because they wanted their oil. Had we not done that, we never would have heard of Ayatollah anybody. And Iran is now a huge threat to peace in the Middle East and elsewhere. Nobody thought about what the consequences were. So we have built into our system our unwillingness to look beyond this horizon. We're unwilling, not unable, but we got to be able as well as willing.